single family person, I'm, I don't feel safe walking on the street. Neighbors along a quiet Rancho Pinasquito Street say they are fed up with the crime, the litter, and abandoned cars near their front doors. And some feel trapped because they can't afford to move. New at 530, 10 News reporter John Horn explains why they believe there is a simple fix. You can't walk 10 feet on this street without seeing litter or an indication of crime. And the people who live here say something has to be done. There's a Chick-fil-A, we got McDonald's. Danielle Solis isn't weighing her options for lunch. She's just looking over the litter steps from her front door on Azuega Street in Rancho Penasquitos. I'm paying good money to live in a great place that's beautiful, San Diego, let alone owning my own condo but I'm not being able to use my own neighborhood. The litter is only part of the problem. Solis and her neighbors are reporting drug paraphernalia, abandoned cars along their road, and a series of car break-ins. One man telling me off camera his daughter's softball gear taken after his window was busted in last month. And it's just ongoing issues on this road. Here's the problem. Azuega Street is a long straightaway largely hidden from view just south of the 56. There are no homes on the final stretch of the road. One side a retaining wall up a hill, the other just brush. It ends into a condo complex called Terra Vista. There's no lighting and this is the easy place to hide. Solis says her HOA has discussed adding a gate to the complex and also a guard, both too expensive. She says she would like to see more police officers patrolling the block because she can't afford to move. Cruise by, just come and look at these cars. It's the same cars here every single day. A San Diego police spokesman says it's vital people report crimes or suspicious activity. That can lead to increased patrols. He added people can use the city's Get It Done app to report cars left in unrestricted spaces for more than 72 hours. John Horn, 10 News. Now, we looked at crimemapping.com to see what's been going on in that neighborhood. We found seven reports in the last six months, including car break-ins, drugs, and vandalism. You can also request extra police patrols on the city's website. We have a link online.